Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to show you how we can have volume rendering in Unity. Imagine if we want to uh, have a, an a MRI file or some uh, layers uh, files in Unity and we want to render them, uh, rendering them uh, layer by layer, we will use this technique. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, example project which has been released five years ago by Metatas. Uh, Unity Volume Rendering. I will share the, uh, the link of this uh, project in the description of this video for sure. Uh, you just need to download uh, the zip of this project and just drag and drop Volume Rendering folder into your project folder. After you do that, uh, whenever you open it, it's here, there is some objects here and for example in here we have some volumes. In fact, volumes are some assets or some images which are uh, layered. For example, in here and most of them are uh, dot raw. In here, for example, we can see some of these examples in this MRI of head and in here this is another one and this is another one. Okay, but we want to see these files uh, in one 3D asset. Okay, uh, this package already has this ability which has volume asset builder. You just need to open it up and uh, here, oh sorry. Uh, okay, here you just need to drag and drop your image, your raw image into here and change the resolution width and height and depth. I propose to keep it default and uh, this is the address and the name of this file. I just need to say assets and mri.asset. Let's build. It's trying to building. Okay, it has been done. And in here we have this file. Look at this. It's made a 3D asset. Uh, it is dot asset uh, from our vo uh, volume render. Okay, now come back to the demo scene. Now let's make it bigger to see the UI. Look at this. We have just a simple main camera and volume rendering controller. In here we can change the and uh, we can send the orders to the uh, volume rendering system. It is just slicing the, what is the layer, what is depth, what is the intensity of the images. And in here we have the main uh, uh, core of our volume rendering system. In here we say okay the color will be something like this and uh, look at this these uh, volume controller UI are uh, sending order to these parameters slice x min max and y and whatever and in here you can uh, drag and drop your volume asset uh, which uh, you have made or you already have Look at this in here. I have had uh, it by default. It is with mail this guy. And now let's play the scene. Look at this. And if I doing this, it is the volume rendering technique. In fact, you are, uh, you are uh, hiding some images, you don't uh, hit the object, you just need to hide some images. They are image, 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 uh, next together and you're just disabling some of them. So it makes volume rendering uh, you know, uh, visibility. And in here you can change the intensity and as you can see it is a human head and it will be like this. Let me do something. Oh yeah, it's cool. 
Excellent. And now if I add that thing I made here, and now I play the scene. Look at this. It is that thing I made by this image. And now this is the volume rendering. If I do something like this or three show, I got this. It is very beautiful. And in here I can change these angles again as well. This is really a rare technique, but it is useful to have uh, to using these kinds of uh, volume rendering techniques for uh, simulations or training applications which we are gonna implement them on Unity so it is really helpful for that okay I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR and XR subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye